All right, as we mentioned earlier in the newscast, a corrections department employee is dead after an inmate escaped in Lauderdale County, Tennessee today. This happened uh, around 1 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, Local 24 News has learned that Curtis Ray Watson, the man you see on the screen there, uh, escaped this afternoon from the West Tennessee Penitentiary. That's in Henning. Right now, TBI is about to hold a news conference on the search for Curtis Ray Watson. Uh, looks like they're about to take the podium now and are getting redress, uh, addressing reporters right now. Let's listen in. Johnson was found in her residence, deceased at the West Tennessee State Penitentiary. There was indication in her residence that foul play was involved. Immediately following, the facility was locked down and the official inmate count was conducted. At that time, inmate Curtis Ray Watson, 36-47-44, was found missing from a work detail. Appropriate protocols was initiated. The TBI was contacted along with local law enforcement, and a manhunt was initiated immediately. <clears throat> Deborah Johnson began her career with the Department of Corrections on January 30th, 1981, as a correctional officer. She led a distinguished career over 38 years of service to the people of this great state. Ms. Johnson served in numerous positions in the Department of Corrections across the state including correctional sergeant, deputy warden, warden, and most recently as a correctional administrator for the West Region. The inmate was a minimum custody offender assigned to a job of farm laborer at the Henning facility. Curtis Watson was serving a 15-year sentence on an especially aggravated kidnapping conviction out of Henry County, 2013. His current sentence was due to expire in 2025. Watson had previously been convicted of aggravated child abuse out of Carroll County. That sentence expired in 2011. He had no disciplinary since 2007. Prior to 2007, he had disciplinary for failure to report to his assigned duties and classes. I want to extend my condolences to the family of Ms. Johnson, who was the victim of this homicide. Tonight, the TDOC is working closely with the TBI, the Department of Safety, and local law enforcement agencies to search and to find Curtis Ray Watson, who is listed as the person of interest in this homicide. Rest assured that we will find this offender and bring justice to the family of Deborah Johnson. I, I want to reiterate uh, the condolences to the family. Um, obviously, this is a, a tough loss uh, for the family and, and uh, uh, quite frankly, for the state of Tennessee. Uh, we also recognize uh, that it's a loss to uh, the Tennessee Department of Corrections. And uh, our thoughts, our prayers uh, go out to the family, but also to the, uh, to the TDOC and, and, their, and their team. TBI is currently working with various agencies across the area to do everything possible to find this person of interest, uh, Mr. Curtis Watson. We will continue to work throughout the night in the ongoing search. We're asking the public to be on the lookout and pay attention to the pictures that have been uh, sent out of Mr. Watson. Uh, remember them. If you spot Curtis Watson, do not approach him. Call 911. He is to be considered dangerous. Residents in the area should be vigilant and report anything suspicious to law enforcement. TBI has issued a blue alert and we have added Watson to our most wanted list. Our agents and forensic scientists are actively investigating the homicide and will be working that scene throughout this night. Last, let me reiterate this is a serious situation, and uh, we ask the public to stay vigilant, stay aware. We need to get this dangerous individual into custody. And that, that's all I have at this time. Are there